here out at the air show. There's a lot of great planes and other things to see, including meeting, talking with, and maybe even getting some autographs with guys like Joe McPhail. He's a World War II fighter pilot, and we got a special opportunity to speak with him today about his wartime experiences. Hundreds of bombers and fighters take off from the decks of the task force carriers. 96-year-old Joe McPhail was in the thick of the war in the Pacific. He was a Marine combat pilot who flew the Corsair in the Death Rattler Squadron. <laughs> Colonel McPhail is here in Kingsville for the air show. He remembers back when he trained here and over at NAS Corpus Christi. Eventually, he was sent to the Pacific Theater and ended up providing close air cover for troops fighting the Japanese on South Pacific Islands. He also ended up shooting down two enemy aircraft. I happened to see four Zeros and uh, shot down the tail end Charlie and uh, I went on past them and I thought, well, gosh, there's three Zeros behind me. I better get out of here. So Later, he caught a Japanese pilot by surprise. He was, you know, by himself in about a thousand feet off of the water, and I shot him down. He just rolled over and went right into the water, so there wasn't, wasn't any dog fighting. The colonel said that back during those uncertain times, there was no doubt in his mind about who was going to win. We knew we were going to win. Yeah, we had, had confidence uh, in ourselves. Believe it or not, McPhail eventually flew a Corsair in the Korean War and listen to this. He's ready to get back into the cockpit. We were uh, honorable people. I, I mean, we wanted to win uh, uh, and, and uh, protect the country. Uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of sorry that uh, I'm not still involved. I'd like to help them even today. Colonel Joe McPhail will be out at the air show through the weekend. And if you head over to Kingsville, you might want to keep an eye out for him on the ground or maybe in the air if he can catch a ride. From Kingsville, Michael Gibson, 3 News.